Okay guys, so today we're diving into a crucial topic for website owners and developers and that is stress testing your website. So today we'll be discussing why stress testing is important, how it's done and the steps you need to take to ensure that your website can handle heavy traffic without breaking a sweat. So if you are ready to supercharge your site's performances, keep watching. Okay, so before we jump into the nitty gritty of stress testing, let's talk about why it's so important. So imagine that your website suddenly gets featured on a major news outlet or maybe goes viral on social media. So that's fantastic, right? But what happens if your server crashes due to the sudden influx of visitors? So that's where stress testing comes in. It helps you to identify weaknesses in your website's infrastructure before they become a problem. So in a nutshell, stress testing prepares your website for success, ensuring it can handle a surge of traffic without downtime. Okay, so now that we understand the why, let's move to the how. So stress testing involves subjecting your website to simulated high traffic scenarios to see how it performs under pressure. So it's like taking your website to the gym and testing its limits. So by doing this, you can identify bottlenecks, uh, server limitations and potential areas of improvement. So this way you can take proactive steps to optimize your website's performance. Okay, so now to make things clearer, let's have a look at a real life example. So imagine that you're running an online store and you expect a surge in traffic during the holiday sales. By stress testing your website beforehand, you can ensure that your customers won't face slow load times or website crashes while trying to make a purchase. So this not only improves their experience, but it will also boost your conversion rates. All right, so let's get practical. So here are the steps to stress test your website. So number one, choose the right tool. So start by selecting a tool to stress test your website, obviously. So there are various options available, uh, both free and paid versions. So some popular choices are Apache JMeter, you have Gatling and also Loader.io and Loader.io is the most popular one. So second, create a test scenario. So next design the test scenario that mimic real life situations. So real world situations. So for instance, uh, simulate a sudden traffic spike, uh, maybe like a flash sale announcement or a viral social media post. Third, gradually increase the load. So begin with a small number of virtual users and then gradually increase the load and then monitor your website's response time, server load and resource usage. So fourth, Monitor performance metrics. So that's very important. So keep an eye on the crucial performance metrics like response time, uh, server CPU usage, uh, memory consumption, and also database response time. Now, next, you need to identify bottlenecks. So if you notice a slowdown or bottlenecks, investigate further. So it could be due to maybe a poorly optimized code, inadequate server resources, or inefficient database queries. So next, you need to optimize and retest, obviously. So fix all the issues that you've identified and then run the test again. So this process helps you to fine tune your website's performance. And finally, consider implementing load balancing if your website traffic is constantly high. So this distributes incoming traffic across multiple servers, preventing one single server from being overwhelmed. While stress testing is incredibly beneficial, there are a few mistakes you should avoid. So first, don't use unrealistic test scenarios that don't apply to your website or that doesn't match your actual traffic pattern. Also, ensure that you are testing the entire system, including databases and third-party integration. Lastly, remember that stress testing is not a one-time thing. Regular testing helps you to stay on top of your website's performance as it grows. And finally, let's have a look at what solution or tweaks are available to improve your website performances. So far, the most obvious one is to update your hosting plan. So instead of choosing a cheap hosting plan uh, that comes with a lot of restrictions, rather opt for the best hosting provider that allows you to handle high traffic by letting you scale up your server whenever you require more resources. So second, invest in managed hosting. So give yourself the best chance of success by choosing a managed hosting. 
Now here's the thing, most newbies make the common mistake of choosing the cheapest hosting plan they can find, but unfortunately, while cutting costs may work in the short term, over time as your website grows, cheap hosting plans won't be able to sustain the stress and load. So third, set up a content delivery network or also known as CDN. So basically a CDN is a server network that's located around the world. So instead of having your website hosted on one single server, visitors from around the world will have access to it from their nearest one. So next you can use a caching tool. So there are plenty of options available, loads of caching plugins to choose from. And then you can use these tools to reduce the total load on your site. So next is to reduce your DOM size. So DOM stands for Document Object Model. And this is the structural form of HTML documents on your website. So basically it is rendered using JavaScript and CSS. So if you've ever analyzed your website using Google SpeedSpeed Insight, uh, you may have seen the error message that says avoid an excess DOM size. And that's basically related to this. And then finally, you can remove heavy plugins. So different websites react differently to increased load based on their architecture. So factors like the theme, all the plugins you have, or unnecessary code and unoptimized images play a huge role in how your website performs, particularly on e-commerce sites. So there you go guys, stress testing might sound intimidating, but it's a crucial step in ensuring your website success, especially during traffic surges. So by identifying and addressing performance bottlenecks early on, you're setting your website up for a smooth sailing even when it gets tough. Now, as always, if you need a reliable hosting provider that will not break your site when under load, you can always check our website, verpex.com, or chat with our sales team who can advise you on the best plan for you. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tech discussion. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.